Hello YouTube gardeners. This video is on planting and growing asparagus. And if you love the look of fern leaves, then you're definitely gonna wanna add asparagus to your garden. These asparagus plants are at the end of their second season of growing and it's been extremely hard not to harvest any. But when you read about growing asparagus plants, they recommend not harvesting any spears until at least the end of the second season and even the third season. The first couple seasons are making sure that the root system in the ground gets nice and strong and then the plants will give you spears for 20 to 30 years. So even though it's hard, it's definitely worth the wait. I planted asparagus in two locations in my garden and this area has been very successful. They're extremely beautiful, about four feet, three to four feet high, doing really great, but the other location is experiencing lots of problems. So I'm gonna share with you what I've learned in planting and growing asparagus and then I'm going to get some new seeds planted in the other area where the asparagus have been unsuccessful. And really asparagus are extremely easy to grow as long as they start off right in the very beginning. One of the keys to success with asparagus plants is making sure that the soil conditions are just what they need. They love soil that's rich in organic matter, so you want to work in a lot of compost initially when planting. They like well-draining soil and they like to stay moist, but they don't want to sit in soggy soil because that will bring on root rot. And now I'm going to head over to the other location to share with you what happens when asparagus doesn't get the right amount of water and when the crowns are buried too deep. And here we are, the asparagus bed that is doing so poorly. <laughs> These guys are, gosh, maybe 12 inches tall. Most of them come out like this. They're just stunted. And basically, um, two reasons. The crowns are planted way too deep, so I need to bring them up closer to the surface. They'll still be under the soil, but if they're too deep, they really just can't break through. And also, they need much more water than they're getting. I have crowns planted all along this fence line. Jet is sitting on two of them. So there's three over there, actually four over there. Got three here. You can see they're just doing nothing. And then three here. So what I'm going to do today is dig up all these crowns, see how the roots look. If they still look pretty good, then I'm gonna get them replanted. So I'm going to redig the trench and set up the mounds a little higher than they were previously. What had ended up happening is I planted and then got them mulched for overwintering. And then during the spring, I applied a bunch of compost for mulch and so it just got layers upon layers and ended up burying the crowns too deep. And I read about that being a potential problem, but I just didn't realize how much I had piled on top of the crowns. So I believe that this is going to be an easy fix. It's going to be a little bit of work to not damage the roots too badly, but it's a beautiful day for it. All right, I've uncovered the first crown and I'm pretty happy to see that the root system is really nice and established. I can't move it, so 
I'm definitely not going to be digging these crowns up. Change of plans, what I'm going to do is just remove the soil and I'm just going to have to um, lower the soil level. I'm not going to be able to raise these guys up. And that's okay because I prefer to not disturb the roots. And I'm really happy to see that it's got a healthy root system going on. So the plan now is to uncover quite a bit of soil over all the crowns and then just recover them, but not too deep this time around. And I'm gonna get them more water this time around. The dirt was wet, so they were getting water. Um, they may have been getting enough, but I'm gonna add some water because asparagus plants do like a lot of water, just not sitting in soggy soil. All right, I just have one more section to go. And I've read how asparagus plants don't like root competition. And I'm trying to figure out if this root is from the neighbor's rosemary bushes or if it's from the asparagus. So we'll see. If it's from the asparagus, then it definitely didn't like all of this uprooting that I did. But I left the crowns intact and the main roots so we'll see how they do. And Jet and the neighbor dog are not friends. That's why he's been tearing it up along the fence line. Jet, do you like Leia? He does not like Leia. Buddy, go find a friend. Friends are lizards. Buddy, go find a friend. And while I was digging up the earth, I found some chicken treats. So the spice chicks are gonna be really happy in a few minutes. Hey girls, I got some treats. You guys want some treats? <laughs> you guys are beautiful. Some treats! Grubs. They taste like sweet corn. <laughs> Guyon, does it taste like sweet corn? Come here, sweetheart. You could come up here. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. We're gonna get some eggs soon. Couple weeks. Time for eggs. gotta go. Okay so I'm in the last section and I found all four but boy they were buried so deep. So here's one of the crowns. This is the only one that actually had any spears come up and then this one 
was way deeper than that one, so it's no wonder that no spears came up. This one, super deep. And then this one is an example of a root system that didn't make it. So all of these guys are established in there. I can't move them. Their main roots, which are these guys, are nice and established in the earth. This one, when I uncovered him, he's dead. So this is a rotted root system. It's no good. So I'll be tossing him. But it's kind of a good example. You know what the roots look like when you buy them. Then basically how I got these guys planted is I dug a trench. So the trench was about six inches deep. I built a little mound, set the root and the crown on top of the mound so that the roots could um, spread out over the hill and then started to bury it. And what happens is you cover it with dirt just slightly and then as it starts to establish itself, the crown starts pushing up. And then you cover it with a little more dirt, the crown will push up more, and you cover it until um, it stops pushing up and the crown is slightly covered with soil. But then as I explained earlier, um, I came in and mulched, that added a couple of uh, inches and then uh, added a bunch of compost to fertilize and that added a couple inches. It ended up getting buried way too deep. So I did lose this one, but I'm going to take this as an opportunity to use this area. I have some purple asparagus seeds that I got and dying to try them. So I'm going to get them soaked for about 24 hours and kind of soften up the seed and then I'm going to get them planted in this area. So it's going to be interesting to see how these do now that I've uncovered all of the earth and to see how the seeds do in this area. I did confirm that these loose roots, and I had a feeling they were from the asparagus root um, and not from the neighbor's rosemary, but yeah, I've confirmed that they are part of the crowns, so they're roots that are going out and trying to establish themselves, and then, of course, later they'll grow into nice big roots. So now that I've disturbed all these roots, um, I'm sure the root system is really unhappy. So we'll see if these guys even make it. So check back in the spring, and we'll see if we get any growth out of these guys because I highly doubt I'm going to get any spears over the next several months, but since I'm planting seeds, I should see some growth out of those guys. And here are the purple passion asparagus seeds. When you read about purple asparagus, it says it's much more tender than the green. So I'm looking forward to trying that out and seeing if that's accurate. So I'm going to get these guys soaked for about 24 hours and then get them planted. I'm back and I'm super happy to report lots of growth coming out of the crowns. I don't have any seeds germinating yet, so I'm going to go ahead and get some started under the grow lamp. But several of the crowns are starting to get growth. So very excited. That means that they're not damaged too bad from all of the digging I did and all of these exposed roots. So it looks like they're going to be just fine. We're coming into winter, so they're not going to do much this year. I'm going to go ahead and get everything cut down in a couple months, and then I'm going to heavily mulch them to overwinter them. But this time I'm going to mulch them with straw. I'm not going to make the same mistake and mulch them with a bunch of wood chips and then get too much layers on top of the crowns and then they don't produce spears again next year. So you can be very careful, mulch them with straw and then in the spring uncover them. Here's another one, nice and tall. Very happy that I don't have to completely start over in this bed. And asparagus can be grown almost anywhere. You could grow them on the side of a house, in a raised bed, 
as long as they don't have a lot of root competition and the soil requirement is exactly what they need, rich in organic matter and moist but not soggy, then you could grow them just about anywhere. All right, well, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy your week and enjoy your garden.